what's up everybody will here uh, the next few days here in Northeast Florida are gonna be pretty dang windy so uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different uh, today probably for the next few days we're gonna be doing a little bit different um, there's more to st. Augustine in Northeast Florida than salt water there's a ton of fresh water too st. John's River nearby and all the little tree, creeks and tributaries there's a ton of water and on windy days uh, like what we're going to be experiencing the next few days fresh water is a good option if you just want to get out and bend a rod um, there's a lot of fairly unpressured fish out there uh, you know bass bluegill crappie um, several different lots of different pan fishes as far as the the brim species as we call them down here um, which would be your shell crackers, your red bellies, your spotted sunfish, your bluegill, green ear sunfish. You know, there's a, there's a, there's quite a few of them, and uh, there's, you know, you can catch them all in in one area, uh, one creek if you, uh, if you're there at the right time. Uh, so last night I tied up a, found a little old jig head in the, in my freshwater stuff, and I painted it and added some eyes and put some skirting on it. And so that's what we're using today. Added a little spinner, uh, just some bucktail and a jig with a little bit of flash in there. Green and black and gold with a silver spinner. Um, that's what we're using this morning so far and have catching a few fish on it so far. But um, go back to it here and you know, it's just a beautiful, uh, beautiful morning. January, what, 9th? You know, first first part of the year. and. Um, it's about 70 degrees right now and not too breezy, but the wind's going to pick up uh, this afternoon and so that's why I chose salt, uh, fresh water this morning. Um, one good thing about fresh water, you got it to yourself. There ain't hardly anybody ever out here. So and the people that are out here oftentimes are just paddling, they're not even fishing. So, um, you know, fresh water is a good option during, uh, during these windy days. I'm gonna get back to it here. Uh, try to catch some more of these panfish. See how many, uh, see how many we can get today. Thanks for watching. There's one. Red belly. Such a pretty fish. There's one little spotted sunfish. There's a little one. There we go. Little bass. <laughs> little bass. Little bass on it. Whenever I'm pan fishing, I'm looking for little pockets, little uh, up against the bank, you know, little protected areas. You know, they're not a they're not a big fish, so they could still fall into the bait category. So they're in a protected area. Oop, there's one. They're going to be in protected areas that are, uh, um, they can kind of come out and ambush a passing little bait fish or uh, crawfish or something, that they're, whatever they're feeding on.
little spotted sunfish. These things are so pretty. Panfish are just so colorful. It's not a spotted sunfish, but it's a red belly. there next to the boat. Ultralight bassin, ultralight fishing. May not catch a lot of big fish, but you catch a lot of fish and it's a lot of fun. Well folks, there you have it. Uh, caught a few, you know, it wasn't a stellar day, but uh, it was windy on the flats and it bent my rod today, so it was a it was a good day. Um, caught a few bass, well, a couple bass, um, several uh, several spotted um, spotted sunfish and a couple red bellies. Uh, so you know it wasn't a like I said it wasn't a stellar day, but it wasn't a horrible day either. Any day on the water is better than sitting in the house or being at work. So, especially when you're out here in nature and you're the only one out here, that's what makes this just, it's all right catching these little uh, bluegill whenever you got surrounded by what we're surrounded by out here. It's just absolutely incredible. So, um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. We'll probably be doing a little bit more fresh water here in the next couple episodes just because the wind is not going to allow us to be on the flats or fishing too much salt water. So, um, some pan fishing do some bass fishing in the next few episodes and you know everything we do there we can do in the salt water too we just scale up right now we're scaling down so ultralight fishing you know creek fishing it's uh it's how i grew up fishing so it's kind of takes me back to my roots and i'll probably enjoy catching bluegill till the day i die so uh you know if it's too windy for you to be on the water uh on the flats and the salt you know, get on Google Earth or ride around until you find a little freshwater creek or stream and there's probably going to be fish in it. So, uh, you know, Florida has a lot to offer that's more than just, um, more than just salt water. So, get on out there and see if you can't catch a few of these freshwater species on, uh, on these windy days. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you out there.